Welcome to the Kanoi 500. This is a final project for a couple of classes here in the School of Engineering Technology. The Programming Robots with ROS class. ROS is the Robotics Operating System. And really, these classes are programming classes for both undergraduate students in the Robotics uh, Engineering Technology program, as well as graduate students, both masters and PhD, that learn to program self-driving cars and, again, other aspects of programming complex systems. So the Kanoi 500 came about as part of this idea of programming uh, autonomous robots. And of course, one of the most ubiquitous uh, things in the public sphere is self-driving cars. Having a class that could actually teach um, about self-driving cars, but to do it in a fun way. And of course, we're in state of Indiana with the Indianapolis 500. We have the Purdue Grand Prix. And so it makes sense to have an indoor version of this at one-tenth scale to have small cars that the students can program on a daily basis, and they're electric driven, by the way, and to learn these concepts of not only how to make a car self-drive, but also the competitive aspects of trying to do it faster and better, and in some cases, safer, when we get into more advanced classes where we actually start to talk about things like Hollywood stunt driving and, and drifting vehicles um, are all part of the racing scene. Robots, of course, bring up the image of R2-D2 and, uh, and C-3PO, but the robot's shape and form are not the only part of robotics. Computation and programming are a really important part of the robotics and engineering technology program here at Purdue in the School of Engineering Technology. It's all about, from a student perspective, of how to use the sensors, how to get the sensors to communicate and interact with the motors and the steering systems from a programming perspective, and the fact that they're going to have to use software then that is developed by other people in a systems perspective. In the Kanoi 500, we deliberately chose a Formula One type course or a road course because that's more relevant to a real self-driving car where we have to make turns left and right. So the students then are given a map of the course ahead of time so they know what to expect, but they have to program the car's sensors and the car's actuators to appropriately slow down and prepare for the turn just like an Indy 500 car driver would do except they have to take left turns and right turns some are quick turns some are some are fast turns some are slower turns they plan for that and that's what makes this again a little bit closer to what self-driving cars have to do for Ford and GM and the major automakers with the Kanoi 500 it's a closed course the basic challenge is time trials and while they can look Look at things like passing and strategy of racing with uh, multiple motives. What we have in the works for more advanced classes is actually looking at things like Hollywood stunt driving. Drifting is an important aspect of dirt track racing and many types of, of racing where the car is actually skidding under controlled scenarios. And of course, this is very important for safety of our typical consumer vehicles from GM and Ford. And as they become autonomous, cars are gonna to have to be able to deal with snow and ice and things like that, which can cause uncontrolled skidding. What these students can learn in more advanced classes through fun things like making cars jump and roll is how to do a safer driving for autonomy. We need our autonomous cars to be able to control skids if they hit a patch of ice or if they hit a patch of sand. How to control dynamic and unpredictable uh, environments. Bringing together physics with engineering technology with uh, difficult programming challenges to do hands-on programming in the Polytechnic and the School of Engineering Technology.